on the previous episode of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Dead scams. Dead scams everywhere. And that is where we continue. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Trioni and this is the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. In the last episode I said we were going down to the camp to meet Martin, and this is exactly what we'll do. What else, eh? <laughs> Well, I do think I will be skipping this little part of me going down the hill, because nothing interesting will happen. Right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am down at the camp, and I will be searching for Martin. Let's hope I find him. Wolf is still here. I'm angry. I want to stay. Your Jill Bear. Your Martin. All right. I heard about how you helped the guard drive the Daedra back. Well done. Holy mother of Akatosh, you're Boromir. Um, well, the Emperor told me to find you. The Emperor is dead. Who are you? What do you really want with me? You're Martin, right? The priest. Yes, I'm a priest. Do you need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. Well, there is a plan and we are both part of it. What plan? What are you talking about? I prayed to Akatosh all through that terrible night, but no help came. Only more Daedra. What can you possibly know that would help me make sense of this? What I'm going to say will not make a lot of sense at all, but... Uh... You're Uriel Septon's son. Emperor Uriel Septon? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. Well, the Daedra came here for you. An entire city destroyed to get at me? Why? Because I'm the Emperor's son? But why would I lie to you? I don't know. It's strange. I... I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? Come with me to Wayne and Priory. That's all I ask. You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You gave them hope. You helped them drive the Daedra back. Yes. I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory and hear what Geoffrey has to say. Lead on. First step on my horse. Don't want to lose it. Then again, it's not really my horse. Oh, no, no, no. First need to uh, sell my loot. That's right. Uh, you let me sell some things. Thanks. Kavach is safer for all of us now you've closed the gate. Good, but uh, can I get a discount? Oh, no, you don't sell anything. Sorry. You too. York. That's something I remember. You closed the gate. That's the first good news in a long time. Can I get some good news too? Like, uh, I don't know, maybe discounts? Say what you're going to say. I'm going to have to talk to you a bit before I do anything. Is that so? You're full of it. Thank you. That's really funny. That's, I like you. Oh, you're pathetic. Hmm, it's good of you to. That's just. Where'd you. Don't make me laugh. Where'd you. Blah. That. Thank you. You're waste. That's really fun. You're a big. You're too kind. Don't make. Is that. You're. <laughs> That's great. Don't. Oh, I like. I like that. <laughs> a lot. All right, I get it. Perhaps you need new armor. Oh well. I changed I changed your admiration for me a little bit. Let's try haggling. It's at 70, so maybe we can get 25% of my value of my items when I sell them. I hope so. Make me a better offer. Ah. 30%. Make me a better offer. What? But woman. I saved your city. I can't do that. You 
You don't expect me to make that de Orc. Buy it. I can't make that deal. You better hope I will not kill you. Buy my item. 10% of the value. Okay. Finally. See, was that so bad? That seems a fair price. Fair price? I'm selling you items for one or two gold. That's not fair. Here, Legion boots, Legion cuirass, Legion gauntlets, Legion greaves, and helmets. Got to keep the soul gem and these gems. Yeah, you can have this weight. It's no use to me. A pleasure to serve you. Pleasure to serve me. <laughs> Goodbye. I just finished. There's nothing left. Okay. A pleasure to serve me, the woman says. <laughs> she bought everything at Titans at 10% of the value. Okay, let's go to Wayne and Priory. But I am going to skip things. Three, two, one, go. Okay, uh, I am at the city of Anvil or Breville. Okay, <laughs> I'm at the city of Coral, and this is where I need to be. Why is he running? Get off your horse. Help! Whoa! You must help! They're killing everyone at Wayne on Priory. Okay, hold on. Tell me what happened. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Prior Mabarel is dead. Mabarel, the one from the horse? The poor man. Who's attacking Wayne and Priory? I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. I heard the Prior talking to someone. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers. Ordinary. Suddenly weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the Prior down before he could move. They saw me watching, and I ran. Where's Joffrey? Is he safe, at least? <sighs> I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us! Of course, I'll help you. Quickly, go. I'll take this one. Come on, guy. That's so tough like the last time, eh? You died in 20 hits, then. Now it's one or two. Come on, Martin. I'm going to follow the prior. He knows where they are. I think. Nope. God's blood! They came out of nowhere! Have you seen Grandmaster Joffrey? Well, Erinor said he was in the chapel. Maybe he's there. Quick! He may need our help! Okay. Run to the chapel. <laughs> what a poor man. Yep, he needs help. Okay, they're dead. You're back. Thank Talos. No, thank me. They attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. We need to go see if it is safe. I'll check on the Amulet. We'll go together. But I fear the worst. Let me loot first, okay? Ten gold. Fifteen gold isn't much, but it's much compared to what I get from merchants. I fear the enemy came here for the Amulet of Kings. No one here? Any time now. Okay, it's safe. Ooh. Closet. Nifty trick. They've taken it. 
The amulet of kings is gone. The enemy has defeated us at every turn. Well, not really every turn. I found Martin and he's safe with me. So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the amulet of kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Where will Martin be safe then? Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay. Wait, now I have two companions? Could be yes. cool. Let's continue on to Cloud Ruler Temple. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Kavach was attacked. Okay, follow me. The sooner we reach Cloud Ruler Temple, the better. Lead on. First, I want to say goodbye to Mabril. He gave me his horse after all. His ring. I'll wear his ring as a tribute to him. It's not much, but it's the least he could deserve. Let me repair my stuff a bit. Okay. Now, where's my horse? Okay, it's still there. It's a good sign. Need to get to the temple. Where's Martin? Martin? Ah, over there. The sheep too. Stop walking against the horse, go on the horse. Okay. Uh, which way? Uh, to the right. Follow me, guys. And I'm going to skip this because there's nothing interesting is going to happen in the way. Except for some bandits, maybe, but uh, I'll leave that to your imagination. Okay, we're almost there. Apparently, it is on that hill. So we are pretty, pretty close. What's that? Another Daedra Oblivion? Uh, another Oblivion Gate? Something else. Let's take a look. Jeez, you guys are slow. Hello? That's a strange thing. Flowers. I can click on you. Uh, no thanks. I'm not interested in knowing what you will do. Martin, Joffrey, come on. We're almost there. Yep. You can see the walls. Hope this place is at least safe. Everything else has been uh, destroyed almost. Like, look at Kavach. Okay, the gates are intact. That's a good sign. A quick save. Where are the other two? We arrived. I've put myself in your hands. Yep. Grandmaster, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, 
Martin Septim. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. This will be quite the event. Hey, it looks like a, a Japanese building. Should we close the gates? Yeah, in a minute. Hello. Blades, dark times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn. Hail, 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 Martin Martin Septim. Septim. hail, hail, hail! Hail! Your Highness, the Blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Geoffrey, all of you. I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but... I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The Blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an Emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. We need to get the amulet back. That's the first priority for the moment. Of course. The amulet of kings. So we... I... can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires. And stop the Oblivion invasion. And you will be an Emperor. Don't forget that part. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. Good evening, Don't worry sir. about me, my good friend, evening, sir. I know I'm in good hands here. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? Me? A Blade? Of course I want to be a Blade. It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight Brother of the Blades. Stay safe. And I, I got my own katana. Yes, look at it. My own katana. <laughs> Thanks, Joffrey. But uh, what do I do now? It is good to be back here. It raises my spirits just to walk these ancient halls again. We will prevail. We must prevail. Uh, do you know anything about the Amulet of Kings? You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassins. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. Who's Boris again? One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. That was Boris. He was the Red Guard who uh, helped me. Give my warm regards to Boris. Tell him he should not blame himself for the Emperor's death. He did well to send you to me. Okay, I may re-begin traveling, as always. Hey, smart horses. And mine is yet again as dumb as a rock. 
but then again, you are the horse of fire, Mabel, so to respect the man, I will not speak of such things against you. Hey! Wait, where did I have to go? Ah, over here. Can I fast travel? Okay, I'll fast travel, that will spare you guys some time. Because you don't want to see me doing a boring trip from part 1 to part 2. And it's yet again, raining. Wait, I enter this city but I don't even know what it looks like. Ah yes, it's a brown city in the middle. Where do I need to go? Horse, Rod's boarding house. Yep, that's it. Little save, you never know. Hello. Are you Boris? Yep, you're Boris. Sit down. Don't say anything. Just do what I say. Oh. Uh. Okay. Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. Uh, before we go, the enemy has the amulet. We can't talk now. Just follow my lead. And I found Uriel's heir. Don't talk. Just follow my lead. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Good. Remember, wait for him to follow me. I want to see what he'll do. <clears throat> Excuse me while I follow those two others into your basement. dead the enemy the enemy agent who attacked Boris is dead I should find out what Boris has learned about our enemies search his body I'll keep an eye out in case any of his friends are nearby okay if this is their way of saying welcome to the Imperial City then why not I found a strange book about the mythic dawn cult I should show it to Boris put on my torch Good work. I am glad to see you, by the way. You just caught me at a bad time. What did you learn in the meantime? The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre cult known as the Mythic Dawn. Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mehrunes Dagon. I've been tracking their agents in the Imperial City. I guess they noticed. As I said, the enemy has the amulet. So you said. That's very bad news. And I found Uriel's heir. I had hoped I heard you correctly. Thank Talos. The Blades will protect Martin until he can claim his throne. Don't worry, or we will die trying. When exactly did I tell him his name was Martin? Okay, uh, what's our next move? There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her name. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich cults. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll keep running down leads on the Mythic Dawn network. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broads. May Talos guide you. Who's Tarmina? Like I said, she's one of the brains over at the Arcane University. Supposed to know everything there is to know about Deidre cults. I hope you learned something from Tarmina about that book. This might just be the break we need. Okay, now I need to search for Termina. Whoever that is. Sounds like an Argonian. What do you need, friend? Uh, nothing, just passing by. And you, uh... Luther Broad's boarding house. I'm Luther. You want beds or food? See me. I'm here to sell some goods. 
A little food and drink will do you some good. And that's it. Tell your friends about me. Okay. Bye. Have I had any friends? Uh, okay, I need to go to the university. And it's thundering. That's not good. Ooh, one big graveyard. And Khajiit just appearing in front of me. What is it now? Oh, this is a uh what was it? Oh yeah, the Imperial Palace. Nice. It's got to be a hell of a muscle strain every time you need to go from floor to floor. If you look at the, how high the, fl the place is. The Arboretum? Yeah, Arboretum. This looks nice. What's the use of this place? It's it's you, the hero of Kavach. This is truly an honor. Uh, thanks, man. Didn't know I already have a title. I guess, looking at the pointy tower, this will be the place to be. What did I leave? Hmm. Looks nice. I have seen an unusual Imperial battle mage in the Arcane University Gardens. I should see if he says anything to see if he has anything to say. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, that's one of my small things, small mods I uh, downloaded and used. It's to create companions. So if you befriend someone really good, then that person will eventually become a companion if you want to. You can you just use uh, certain things in your chat to tell them to just follow you anywhere you want to. It's come. It's uh, a mod called Toaster says share. Really good, in my opinion. Are you Tarmina? Yep, you're Tarmini. Tarmini, why not? <laughs> ah, you must be the one I got the message about. How can I help you? Message? I was here quicker than lightning. Too big for me. Loud, dirty. Clowns, fools, brutes, and thieves everywhere. I want to throw my gold away. I just dump it in Lake Rumara, save time. Uh, can I have it? Because I'm really low on money. But anyway, uh, do you have anything about the Mythic Dawn? You know of them? One of the most secretive of all the Daedric cults. Not much is known about them. They follow the teachings of Maincar Cameron, whom they call the Master, a shadowy figure in his own right. Well, I found one of their books. I think it was Volume 5 or Volume 1. Not really sure. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Wonderful. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then? Uh, no, 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 no. I just need to find them. Find them, eh? Huh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the Blades. Don't worry. Say no more. In any case, finding them won't be easy. I've studied Mankar Cameron's writings a bit myself, at least those that I could find. It is clear from the text that Mankar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but I've only ever seen the first two books. I believe that his writings contain hidden clues to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Merun's Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path 
have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn Cult. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. A fetching quest, eh? Uh, do you know where I can find these books? Here. You can have the library's copy of Volume 2. Treat it gently, if you please. As I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the Market District. Fintius, the proprietor, caters to specialist collectors. He may have an idea of where to locate those books. Okay. It was so nice chatting with you. Be sure to let me know how your hunt for the Mythic Dawn turns out. Okay, I'll let you know. She sounds nice. You have my ear, citizen. Uh, I don't have anyone's ears. Hail, good citizen. How can I be of service? By shutting up and letting me through. I'm on a really important quest. I need to fetch books. That's all I can say. Okay. Let me just take a little quick peek to see where I need to be. Oh, I need to pass the arena. Speak. You have my ear, citizen. Uh, I have no one's ears. Not yours, not mine. Yeah, I have mine, but that's it. Jeez, this place has many. Have my ear, citizen. No, I do not have your ear. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Fantastic. Thanks for asking. They say that the priests and priests have Is this the arena? Yep, looks like it. Ooh. Can I enter? Someone's supposed to be here. I think. Yeah. What hour is it? Oh, it's only this. It's it's you! The hero of Kavach. This is truly an honor. The honor is all mine, my man. But I do not have your ear. Gwendolyn. Greetings to you. It's true what everyone is saying. Kavach is lost. The Daedra, they swarmed in. I'm gonna do a quick save and wait. I think Hundelin was the one who was supposed to be uh, over there, but I'm not sure. Was what it is it, from... citizen? Ah, yeah, he's over there now. Quick eight. Really fond of the F5. <laughs> Hello, Hundelin. Hello there. Welcome to the arena. I don't think I've ever seen you around here before. I know all the regulars, believe me. If you're looking to join the arena as a combatant, you need to head down to the Bloodworks and talk to Owen, the Blade Master. If you're here to bet on a fight, on the other hand, you're talking to the right man. There are matches all day long, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's a lot of chances to fill your purse with coin. So what do you say? You want to bet on a match? Uh... Sounds eerily tempting, but I only have a few coins. Eh, why not? Ah, excellent. I knew you were the gambling type. Well, you can bet on the yellow team or the blue team. The teams are evenly matched, so you've pretty much got a 50-50 chance of winning. So, which team would you like to bet on? Uh, blue team all the way, baby. All right, then. The blue team it is. How much do you want to bet? Ooh. Um, want to do it safely or extreme? Uh, I'm not gonna look. Okay, I'm not gonna look to my screen. I'm going to just randomly click. All right, my friend. Okay, you've got fifty gold down on the blue team. Good luck and enjoy the match. Oh, and if you win, come see me for your payout. I will. I surely hope I will get those 50 coins back. 
I really hope so. Welcome, welcome to the Ooh. arena, good citizens of the Empire. You came to watch a fight, and a fight you shall have. It's the blue team versus the yellow team in a battle to the death. Lower the gates! What? That's not fair. Hit her, hit her, come on. Can do it. Can I help him? That's no fair cop. That's a shame. Would have been fun. Killer. Yes. We have a winner. Behold, a combatant from the blue team. If you bet on the blue team, see the gamekeeper to collect your winnings. Whoever you are, you just made me win a bet. Thanks. Cheap wine. Ah, no, thank you. Give me my coins. You won. Congratulations. Here are your winnings, my friend. One hundred gold pieces. Come back and bet on the matches as often as you like. Thanks. I will open up some opportunities. Anyway, where were we? Uh, oh yeah, um, the bookstore. Uh, Fintius, that was his name. Let's go see Fintius. Can't remember the name of his store. Eh, I'll see. There aren't many books in this world, so. Morning. Fighting chance, merchants in. Black horse courier. That won't be it. Render stops. Ooh, first edition. Greeting. And you are Fintius. Hello. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. Look around. If I don't have it, maybe I can get it. Well, do you have any books about the Mysterium Xarxes? You must be referring to Mankar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. A common mistake. It comes in four volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. The third and fourth are impossible to find. Well, I need the third and the fourth one. I happen to have a copy of Volume 3 on hand, but I'm afraid it is a special order. Already paid for by another customer. Sorry. Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when he came to pick it up. So sorry I can't help you. It sounds like you just need to chill out for a moment. You don't want to help me at all. Say what you're going to say. Where'd you get that? That's good! Okay, now you'll like me a little bit more. So, can you repeat what you just said about the volume free? I'd like to help you, but the cost... I would have to try to obtain another copy for Gwyneth, not to mention his disappointment if he found out. Hmm. Gwyneth, when is he coming around? I don't know him personally, but he was very eager to get his hands on volume three of Cameron's commentaries. Came all the way from Valenwood. As a matter of fact, he's already late for his appointment to pick up the book. Feel free to wait for him if you want to speak to him yourself. Okay, I'll wait for him. Good day. But, uh, when will he arrive? Any minute. Ah, there he is. I'm here for my book, Mankar Cameron's Commentaries, Volume 3. Ah, of course, here you go. Keep us in mind for any future needs. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how long I've been looking for this book. What is it? Um, sir, sir, I'd like to, I'd like yes? to speak to you. 
I'd like to speak to you about your book, uh, Commentaries Volume 3. Have you been following me? Leave me alone! That book is mine! I know, I know. Um, it's just... I, I want to buy it from you. It isn't for sale. You'll have to find a copy somewhere else. No, I need your copy. I won't be bullied. I'm not some pathetic bookworm you can just push around. I have friends, you know. Friends? Yeah, friends. In the Mythic Dawn, perhaps? I never said anything about the Mythic Dawn. In fact, I don't even know what you're talking about. Don't play stupid. Very well. I can see you're familiar with Mancar Cameron's commentaries. I know that Diedrich cults are not quite the thing socially, but that's just foolish prejudice and superstition. For the adventurous, open-minded thinker, Diedrich worship holds many rewards. Here's the rewards. They killed the Emperor, you fool. What? The Mythic Dawn were the ones? You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. I mean, I knew they were a Diedrich cult. Mancar Cameron's views on Mayroon's Dagon are fascinating, revolutionary even. But to murder the Emperor, Mara preserve us. You'd better give me that book, now. Yes, of course. I don't want anyone to think I had anything to do with their insane plots. Here, Volume 3 is yours. What you do with it is your business. I need the fourth book as well. Any inquiries on that? You can only get Volume 4 directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. I had set up a meeting with the sponsor, as he called himself. Here, take this note they gave me. It tells you where to go. I don't want anything else to do with the Mythic Dawn. Okay, thanks for your book. And here's a note. I'm going to read it really quick, and I think I'm going to end the episode in about a few moments. Just read this quickly. Guinness, your interest in the writings of the Master have been noted. You are taking the first steps towards true enlightenment. Persevere, and you may yet join the exalted ranks of the Chosen. If you wish to continue further down the path of Dawn, you will need the fourth volume of the Master's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. It can be obtained only from a member of the Order of the Mythic Dawn. As your designated sponsor, I will pass on my copy to you if I deem you worthy. Study the first three volumes of a master's writings. Look for the hidden meaning in his words, as best as you are able. When you are ready, come to the sunken sewer under the elven gardens in the Imperial City. Come alone. Follow the main tunnel until you reach the room with the table and chair. Sit down. I will meet you there and give you what you desire. The sponsor. Hmm. But just like I said, I think that will be for the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, hope to see you next time. Bye!